Okay, you guys, I hope you can hear me. I'm uh, traveling right now, and I just wanted to um, say that I ended the previous video kind of abruptly because there was some things being said by Alex Jones that I definitely did not want on my channel, and um, it was just startling to hear the remainder of that conversation and um, but I did leave the link in the description if you guys want to hear that interview in its entirety it is up to you we're all grown folks but um, also I just wanted to talk a little bit about Kanye West and my opinion all that I'm saying from here on out is my opinion on what's going on so Kanye he talks a lot about Christ and going with love and you know there's good in everyone um, but I believe he loves Christ and he is a Christian however I don't think it is very Christian like to be out there um, saying the things that he's saying and doing the things that he's doing now I'm not saying that we have to cancel him no that's not Christian like either but I wish that he had people around him that he would listen to who could make him see that he's really doing the devil's work right now and the devil can really fool people who think that they are on the righteous path and they're not now I'm not saying you know turn the other cheek to what they've done to him but I am saying that sometimes you say what you have to say and you shut it down and you do not revisit any of it and I just don't see him being very um, Christian like right now and hanging out with some of the people that he is hanging out with like I had to go and look up who Nick Fuentes is and what his beliefs are and as a black man Kanye and as a, a black woman a woman of color for myself I would never associate with that guy. And yes, there's good in everyone, just like he said when he was talking about Hitler. But Hitler fell out of the graces of goodness. I don't know what happened to him once he passed away, once he took his own life. But he fell out of the graces of goodness, in my opinion once he decided that he was going to delete six million people off of the face of the planet and for him to say that there's good in that demon Hitler makes you realize he doesn't really know much about that time in history because Hitler would have killed every black person that he could get his hands on and I'm sorry Kanye it doesn't matter how charismatic you are how um, much of a genius you purport to be you have black skin and you would have not been in the good graces of Hitler you would have been just another person that he could snatch the soul out of and yeah he's telling us all about the demonic ways of the entertainment industry but he's been in it so long that I don't know if he really knows right from wrong anymore you don't walk around taunting people if you want to get even, you do it through the law. 
I don't know what's going on with him, but just from observation from the outside in, and you guys, I'm not saying cancel him. No, we have to pray for him. And whoever is a real friend of his, go get that guy. Talk to him. Sit him down. He doesn't have to be out there acting crazy. He doesn't want to be called crazy. Well, don't act like it. He doesn't have to be out there behaving this way. You can catch more flies with honey, right? That's an old saying than with vinegar. And he's out there covered in vinegar, right? So I'm just saying after, well, before he and Kim announced their divorce, he was really bugging out. Um, he, I don't think that Kanye is crazy. I think that he is narcissistic and he feels untouchable. But all of us are human on this earth and he should be very careful. I would be so afraid if I was someone close to him. He should remember his children need him. A lot of the things that he was worried about, like having the kids on um, TikTok, the little girl on TikTok, and having, um, you know, her dressing inappropriately and wearing makeup, he seemed like a very good, a great father, actually, and someone who was trying to put um, great moral character, great moral compass into his children. But the way that he's behaving, they will see that when they get older. And I'm pretty sure those of, uh, like, the older daughter, North, I'm pretty sure her friend's parents are talking about his behavior. And kids listen, right? So, whatever he is doing now will affect his children. And they are innocent. So you guys, yeah, I ended the previous video really abruptly. I'm sorry about that. I was so frazzled. I thought I was recording uh, an explanation of why I ended it there. And I think I deleted that with the portion that startled the hell out of me. And, you know, you guys can go listen to it. And then come back to my video and let me know what you think about it. And would you have played the rest of that video on your channel and risk losing your channel, risk people thinking that you are one of those horrible people? And yes, Kanye was behaving so horribly. It was like he was taking on the character of a Nazi like he took on the characteristics of a racist and I just never saw him that way before but I think that he's very angry and he's out there pushing buttons just be careful because if they are as powerful as they seem they brought him to his knees and if they can do all of those things, you better watch out because that is power. So what do you guys think about all of that? Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let's really talk about what each of you thinks, what each of you has to say, your opinion on Kanye's behavior. I'll see you guys in the comments.